You know, they make action figures now based on YouTubers, but it's never YouTubers that I ever heard of. So I thought, hmm, let's take a look at action figures that looks like YouTubers that I know. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you to burn some bridges. That's right. We're going to look at YouTubers, mostly toy YouTubers, but there's some other YouTubers in here also, and what action figure they kind of look like. And like I said, I'm probably going to burn some bridges of people that take everything too seriously. You said I look like that action figure, but that action figure is right. <sighs> so let's just go ahead and upset people. And one of the best YouTubers for modern toys. If you want to talk modern toys, you know, I mostly talk old stuff. But when I want to know about the latest and modern today Star Wars toys, I turn to no other YouTuber than Usual Mike. He's been on the show a couple of times and he's getting back. Hey, Usual Mike, answer your DMs on Twitter. <sighs> anyway, Usual Mike, I usually call him Unusual Mike just because I, cause I, I can't remember stuff. But he's not unusual. He's usual. And his name's Mike. He's from Down Under. And I started thinking... Hmm, what if Usual Mike had an action figure? What would that action figure look like? What action figure? And I said, well, he does like modern day Star Wars. So I started there. I said, well, what modern day Star Wars? What can, what? And then it hit me. I know who this one looks like. I know who's action figure. If I was going to custom an action figure to look like Usual Mike, I know what action figure I would use. From Star Wars, that is. General Hooks. Remember General Hooks from the sequel trilogy? I know, he screamed a lot and got on your nerves. Uh, he was kind of like the young Governor Tarkin of the new ones. Hey, this oh, Force Awakens is just a reboot. Oh, we know, we know, we heard it. We've heard it a hundred times before. So, usual Mike, your action figure is General Hux. That's right, General Hux. Now, there's another YouTuber that doesn't do anything toy related, but she does do a lot of gossip about movies and she likes to react to movie trailers you know she likes to put on a movie trailer and go oh, oh, ha, ha, oh when she watches them and everything and she also likes to say no and i know who you know who i'm talking about none under than the randolph herself grace randolph Wow! Wowie wow! Wow 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 Some of you know her. You keep up with movie news. I'm sure you know Grace Randolph. What does the Grace Randolph action figure look like? Well, you have to go retro. Modern day retro, that is. Modern day retro. I guess everything's modern day retro. But from the Marvel retro line, you have Invisible Woman. So. That's your Grace Randolph action figure. So now let's go back down under again to a friend of maybe a friend of usual Mike's out. They both live down under. I think they both hang out with kangaroos. But this one here is always ready to sue somebody. So I'm sure I'll get a letter from a lawyer after this comparison. Yep, we're talking about Anal Toys, the angry YouTuber reviewer. You know who I'm talking about. This guy. So what action figure does he look like? Well, come on. We all know. Dr. Steel. I think it was the Big Jim. I think he's from Big Jim line. Dr. Jill. Dr. Jill. Dr. Jim from Big Jim. <sighs> Go eat your Vegemite sandwich and contact your lawyer. And as long as we're talking about those types of YouTubers, <sighs> I'm not even going to tell you who this action figure looks like. You know. You know. Let's just move on. In fact, I was told I wasn't allowed to say his name or even mention his YouTube channel, so I better not. What about a female YouTuber that talks toys? You don't see that as much, especially the older toys. Well, there's one called Bella's Toy Chest where she talks about action figures and stuff. And it's always cool to see a female into what mostly men are into. That's, that's pretty cool, although I don't think she's updated her YouTube page in a long time. I guess she's moved over to her OnlyFans page. Her OnlyFans page. But if you were going to get an action figure to look like Bella's toy chest, what action figure would you get? Whatever action figure this is. One of the most popular toy related YouTube channels is Toy Galaxy. And I think his name's Dan. I'll be honest with you, I get Toy Galaxy and Pixel Dan mixed up. 
Are they both named Dan? Well, what about Toy Galaxy scene here? What if you're going to make an action figure of him? What action figure would you use? Well, that's pretty obvious here. You would have to get Riker from Star Trek. Not just any Riker figure. You have to get the Mego style action figure of Riker. Man, eh, a little gray to the beard, but other than that, I think it will work. Now for a toy YouTuber that's always out on the hunt for toys at Target and Walmart. He's the great one himself, Rocco the Great. If you're going to make an action figure based on Rocco the Great, what action figure will you use? I think we can all agree on this one. Luigi from the Super Mario Brothers live action movie. That's an easy one. That's an easy one right there. Now let's move away from toy YouTubers and talk about one that loves to talk about movies. He says talking movies on YouTube with his viewers is like hanging out of the water cooler at work. Well, that's just for the people at the water cooler had to pay in a super chat to answer their questions about movies. But we're talking about your favorite, John Campia. So, if you were going to make a John Campia action figure, what would you pick? Well, some of you may say it's not an action figure, but I'm going to count it as an action figure because we're going to have to go over to Funko to the pop section. That's right, Funko Pops. And we have to get the one from Orville based on the character played by Seth MacFarlane. Striking, striking resemblance, right? I know you're thinking about getting that now so you can make your custom John Campia Funko Pop. Bring on the filthy. All right, uh, Smelly Negro, I love that name. Uh, which uh, hockey movie chant, I Swallow Knickers Come? No idea. Now there's another YouTuber that loves to talk about toys, but sometimes you're not sure what he's talking about because he gets words wrong and he can't really talk good. And we're talking about me, the junk man. So what action figure would I use to make a junk man action figure? Well, I didn't want to be biased, so I got Larry, Gangster Chewbacca, Alien Todd, Dusty to all vote on who they said they would use to make a junk man action figure. And they came up with Ernest. I think I look like Ernest. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I guess I can see he got the little little facial hair on him, but I can I, I guess I can see that. You know what I mean, Vern? Okay, let's go on. And if you're watching my live streams, you know I own I have a co-host named Russ. Check out the live stream channel, that jumpman live. We got clips from the live stream and everything. And my co-host Russ, we've been friends for a long time, and if you're gonna make an action figure out of Russ, I think we all know what we'll use there. Grizzly Adams, the action figure. Now, Russ, if you're watching this, you're going to say, hey, I want to be Fat Thor, a Lazy for Thor, whatever it's called. But that was just too obvious. I, I had to go with the more funnier one. And come on, you're no Thor. So let's move on. If you're looking for someone on YouTube that hangs out at theme parks and also hangs out with Gina Carada, you have to look no further than Drunk 3PO. That's right, if he's not wearing his Panama Jack hat, He's riding a roller coaster at a theme park. Let's see what action figure we would use for Drunk 3PO. I've never seen Game of Thrones, so I'm not really sure who this guy is. I know the actor, but I'm going to say this is who you would use to make a Drunk 3PO. And while we're on the subject of the Phantom Menace and complaining about new Star Wars, new Star Trek, new Marvel, whatever is new, there is one that loves to complain but he's a really decent guy. His name is Ryan. And I would say his last name right here, so you can look him up on YouTube. It starts with a K, and I can't remember what it is. I think it's Kegler or Kegler or something like that. Anyway, here he is. And if you're going to make an action figure based on Ryan, what action figure would you use? Well, I think this one's pretty easy. You go back to the Kenner line, the Kenner superpowers, and you use a plastic man. Now, I'm not saying Ryan's got a big long neck. If you take the figure, you can push the head down or something. Because, let's face it, Ryan doesn't have a long neck. I was told he's got a long something else, but hey, that's just an internet rumor. And what about everyone's favorite kid geek? Geek, that gamer kid! You know I couldn't do this list without adding Geek, the gamer kid, on this list. So let's see what action figures we would use for him. From the He-Man Vintage Collection, we have King Hiss! Ooh, that's a good one right there. And it's green. This dude loves green. I bet St. Patrick's Day is his favorite holiday. Now, out of all the Phantom Menace YouTube channels and the angry about new stuff, there's one king of them all. Or should I say, nerd of them all. The nerd erotic. And you can't talk action figures based on the Phantom Menace upset YouTubers 
without talking nerd erotic. So what figure would we use for him? Rasputin, the action figure. Oh, man, I didn't even know they made a Rasputin action figure. I want to buy it, put a little toy microphone in front of it, tie a cute action figure to it, and have my own place at a nerd erotic. It'll be a lot of fun. I can use him to say, Who's Star Wars Junkman? I've never heard of Junkman. <laughs> it would be funny. Hell, but we've talked before. And now he doesn't know who I am. What are your thoughts on that Star Wars Junkman guy? Um... Star Wars Junkman guy. Well, let's look at two more. If you got any questions about Star Trek, there's one person you ask, William Shatner. But if you can't get in touch with William Shatner, there's one other person you ask, Trek Yards Captain Foley. Let's salute Captain Foley, one of the greatest Star Trek fans there's ever been. So if I was going to make a Captain Foley action figure and put it in a Starfleet uniform, what figure would I use? Well, we've got to go to a Happy Meal toy for this one. It's from Recess. And his name, what's his name? I forgot. Mikey. His name is Mikey from Recess. I bet that's what he looked like when he was about 14. I, I bet you it was. I could be wrong. Now, Russ is going to have something to say about that one. And let's go with one more. My buddy over at Poindexter Lounge. His name, I think, is Enos. I always say it wrong. Sometimes I even call him Enos. But if you want to hear anything about the Snyder Cut or Ben Affleck playing Batman, you head over to Porndexter Lounge and see Enos. Tell him the Junkman sent you and ask him all about the Snyder Cut. So who, what action figure would I use for this one? Well, I'm going to have to pick a bobbin head. Yeah, a bobbin head. You know, let me hear a bobbin head. And who we're going to pick? I think you know this one. Kenny f***ing Powers, a.k.a. Danny McBride. That's just that's just obvious right there. Come on, that's just obvious. Well, there's a few others I could put on this list, but I wanted to save some for a part two. You know what I mean, Crazy Joe? You know what I mean, Bosk Bounty Hunter? And a couple others out there. And if you enjoyed this video, thumb up so I know you like it. We'll do a part two. I need to buy these action figures and make my own custom YouTubers. Maybe I can turn them into voodoo dolls. Hmm. The fun. Oh, fun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway, thumb us when you like my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>